131873 is the telephone number. Yesterday, the Queensland coroner, Michael Barnes, handed down his report into the deaths of three young people killed by, in, while installing insulation as part of Kevin Rudd's pink bat scheme. Now, it was damning. In short, the government's push to put pink bats into houses put stimulus before lives. Last night, Kevin Rudd offered an apology to those who lost loved ones. I was taken by this statement from the National Electrical and Communications Association. The findings by the coroner sadly confirms that the death of these three young people in Queensland, and most likely a fourth in New South Wales, could have been avoided. You see, this organisation pleaded with the government to pull back on the scheme well before anyone was seriously hurt. Way before. They saw the dangers and they informed the government. Unbelievably, they were ignored. But they weren't alone. Other unions, including the Electrical Trades Union and Master Electricians Australia, also tried to tell the Minister. Now, the National Electrical Communications Association was knocking on the door of Peter Garrett's office as early as February 2009. They spoke of a significant risk of fires, overheating and the dangers of foil insulation. They also spoke of the urgency to adequately, adequately train installers. Now, a department staffer wrote back to the union, basically saying she'll be right. You union guys are being excessive. But, of course, the madness caught up with the government. Houses burned and sadly people died. Last night, Kevin and Christine Fuller spoke to the ABC after the coroner's report was handed down. They lost their son, Matthew, 25, when he installed foil bats and pierced ceiling electrical work with his stapler. There were numerous people who were seriously injured or nearly killed. There were too many fires in houses and a lot of people were scared of their, ho their home simply because of the foil insulation in the house until it got fixed. So everyone really talks about the deaths. They don't talk about the whole program which was poorly done, the way it was rushed, the way that things were done on the fly. Nothing was managed well. There were, if it was us running our own business or doing things, then we would have been held more accountable than whether it's the politicians or the public servants. The public servants and politicians in both federal and state didn't communicate together, didn't work together and um, all hid from the problem. Mrs Fuller, do you have anything to add to that? Yeah, it's pretty... <laughs> yeah, that's it, that's I, my feelings also. Yeah. And Mr Fuller referred there to the then Prime Minister who was Kevin Rudd. Mrs Fuller, is there anything that you would like at this stage from Kevin Rudd? I'd like for him to disappear. <laughs> disappeared. James Tinsley is the CEO of the National Communications and Electrical Commission. He gave key evidence to the Barnes Coronial Inquiry. James, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Chris. The coroner's report showed that you were spot on. Yes, in, in, indeed. It, it, and it wasn't rocket science. We were aware at the very early stage that uh, all the red lights went on in my head that there were going to be problems with this program unless they consulted with industry. My information behind the scene was the fact that the Prime Minister... Uh, among others, were very determined for Peter Garrett to just continue on with this program and that your letters were basically ignored. Would you agree with that? Yes, yeah, certainly. I wrote to Peter Garrett with, with our concerns at the time. I was surprised to get a response from the department, meaning it may not have gone to Peter Garrett at all. As you said before, it'll be all right, mate. And, uh, and, and clearly it wasn't. And even at that stage, we weren't put on the consultation list until the first death when we wrote again pointing out the issues. And at that stage, I said, I oh, will put you on a list for consultation. And uh, I was very disappointed. And, um, you know, the word I've used all the time, including in the uh, coroner's uh, court, um, was that it was rolled out at breakneck speed for other reasons. And then we've got the problems with the NBN at the moment. Maybe we haven't learnt a thing, James. Well, look, the public servants have a test called the pink bat test these days, I hear, because, uh, because of the disastrous outcomes of that. Now, if you couldn't have seen as this being a problem uh, with this rollout, you weren't looking very far. No. If they would have asked us about it, we would have told them that you know, there is training in place, there is a way to do it. Um, and if you hire those sort of contractors who are going to dump asbestos outside of schools, um, you're going to end up with a major problem. James, thank you very much for your time this afternoon. James Tinsley, there you go. He's from the union.
We haven't learnt a thing. And now you've got the same Prime Minister running the joint saying, please re-elect me. And we're supposed to believe that that same manic megalomania to solve everyone's problems doesn't exist. As I said before, pigs might fly. TGV traffic, thanks to Casa View Homes.